The good old U.S. of A. For Space Shuttle Discovery, it is heading home, ending a two-week mission to the International Space Station. Yes, Discovery and its seven-member uh, crew scheduled yeah. to land at Kennedy Space Center in just under two hours. And, you know, betting that we're capable of doing a lot of stuff. Right, but... but if the shuttle is going to <laughs> land, we would much prefer to have someone this guy. here... The it experts. Is so good. It is, it's good to it be here. Good. It's yeah, good to see you guys. You in the living Up flesh. close. Yes. Uh, two way communication, real time, in person. Yes. <laughs> let's talk about the shuttle right now. First of all, let's uh, live pictures. Let's go to NASA TV, see okay. what they're doing there. You'll take a look at Mission Control. The controllers there have had a good morning. All the systems are good on the Space Shuttle Discovery. The weather is pristine. That's the word they use. And when I hear pristine, I think, uh-oh, uh -oh. they're going to wave off. You know? <laughs> right? It's like hexing the whole darn thing. Everything looks good for that 11:15 landing. We'll talk a little bit more about that, but there is one person in the bleachers there at the Kennedy Space Center uh, who happens to be a member of Congress and who happens to have more than the typical interest in the space program. No, it's no, not no. unusual to see politicians I, walking the halls of Congress yeah, glued to their Blackberries. Yeah, 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 I mean, but Representative so Gabrielle so Giffords is surely the only lawmaker whose email box is filled with no, love notes no, 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 from uh, space. I, um, I got one this morning. Oh, yeah? What yeah, did he say? Yeah, 7.15. 7.15. Um, he said, today is a day off in space. This is rare. Thanks for the wake-up music. He is the shuttle commander, Mark Kelly. And the mariachi music came from her home district in Tucson, Arizona. Good morning. It's uh, um, another good morning in space. I'd like to thank my wife, uh, my wonderful wife, Gabrielle, and my kids. Gabrielle Giffords, then an Arizona state rep, and astronaut Mark Kelly met in China in 2003 on a cultural exchange visit. Was it love at first sight? It wasn't. You know, they always say it's love at first sight. But it was a fast friendship that evolved into romance. They got married seven months ago, making her the first ever astronaut spouse in Congress. But the honeymoon would have to wait. An election year loomed, and so did this. ...and liftoff of shuttle discovery. She's a little nervous. I think maybe a little more so than my, my last flight. There's a certain amount of risk involved in a, in a shuttle flight, and she recognizes that. She sure does, but it still isn't easy. You're right there. It's very public. And, you know, those first few minutes until they get to the main engine cutoff are, are, are very frightening. It's going to be the same with the landing as well. And she is literally the counting the seconds until yeah, landing and has become perhaps the most dedicated viewer of NASA TV on Capitol Hill. Go, How do you think it looks, Keto? Mark has also called her four times, albeit briefly, on the space station internet phone. It's great, but in some ways it just heightens the anxiety as well because, you know, you reconnect for a second and then you realize the phone call can't last very long. She hasn't slept well either. I wake up every couple of hours, um, check my email, check the news, make sure everything's going okay. Um, you never really relax until you, you see the, the vehicle touch down, the parachute deploy, and it slowly roll to a stop. Jittery as her nerves may be, she believes wholeheartedly in the space program and considers the risks her husband is taking worthwhile. She's a member of the House Science Committee and can always be counted on as a NASA booster. I guess there's no doubt you have a special affection for astronauts, uh, or at least one. <laughs> uh, I, I took my commitment to space and science and NASA to a whole new level when I married Mark. <laughs> now, you would think, yeah, given her support of NASA, that they always agree uh, on issues. But no. she's a Democrat. He's a registered independent. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, there is, so it's not all, they're not always in lockstep on that. One other thing about uh, Mark Kelly that's interesting. His brother, Scott identical twin brother hmm. is also an astronaut and that's another first ever so this whole family has got all kinds of firsts well you know what i find really fascinating he can blackberry from space isn't that cool, cool. yeah that's Imagine a cool getting an email like that and yeah. then the phone call any idea how much that's costing uh, us every april 15th we're paying <laughs> uh, she, she did get one she was with some friends in, in, at a bar in tucson put uh -huh. it on the speakerphone for the whole bar uh, how cool is talk that talk about impressing your friends yeah, this okay. is a call from space. <laughs> yeah, it's a call from space. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, all right. That's cool stuff. All really. right. We well, like that story, and we're going to see you here shortly. Yeah, the landing. It's, looks land. like things are going well. We'll bring it down. All right. 15? All right, Miles. All good right. to have you here. Yes. We'll see you, see you soon. And you have seen the pictures of the Midwest flooding, no doubt. Josh Levs has been...